A major setback on the road to recovery for small businesses in Philadelphia. The city is postponing the reopening of indoor dining. Eyewitness News reporter Greg Argos explains why. For many restaurant owners, August the 1st was a date circled in red. It was expected businesses could allow restricted indoor dining on that date. But with an increase of COVID-19 cases here in Philadelphia, that likely will not happen. For Bobby Saritzaglu, opening his own restaurant, Stina. Same that for my wife, Christina. Was always his dream. We have really great pizza. We have a wood burning oven. The tiny 24 seat spot in South Philly near 17th and Snyder opened a little over a year ago. About nine months in uh, the pandemic hit. So on like March 15th, we did close down uh, and we closed for about four months. He reopened just last week with a brand new outdoor dining space. We just want to make people feel comfortable and also like safe too. Like we have everything spaced out beyond six feet. It's almost eight feet. The city had originally planned to allow modified indoor dining on August 1st. I can tell you right now with case rates rising, uh, it looks unlikely that we would allow that to start August 1st. No matter what, even if they said we were allowed to open, I wasn't going to open inside. Um, it's, it's too small, it's too confined. I think it's, it's totally unsafe for us. <laughs> Across town along the Delaware, other businesses focusing on the outdoor scene as well. So the Philly River Stroll is just our initiative to get people safely outdoors enjoying themselves. Rylan Murphy is the manager of the River Beer Garden there, part of a row of options along the water, with outdoor food and beverage options since indoor dining is still banned. And the August 1st deadline is definitely not happening. So yeah, we've just had to sort of take our indoor concepts and just create outdoor spaces for that to happen. We just need what we need to, to kind of get through right now. Of course, not all restaurants have the ability to offer outdoor seating. One restaurant owner I spoke with today who's in that situation says he's closed and he will not reopen until indoor seating is allowed at 50% capacity. Reporting here in Old City, I'm Greg Argos, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.